I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Are you so confused? Good evening, everybody. We're so glad that you're here. We vlog every single day, so we hope that if you like this video, you'll come back tomorrow. So, this vlog is gonna just be a home vlog. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go out into the neighborhood at all, but our plan right now is to decorate for Christmas. And Peter has had a really busy, I don't know, period of time at work, and I barely heard from it at all today, and, oh, he might have just been calling me. Um, I know that, hold on, let me go get the phone. <laughs> so that was actually my mom calling, just calling while she was in the car, so that was nice to talk to her, um, but Peter is on his way home now. I'm gonna, like, roast some vegetables, maybe make some pad thai, that's the plan for dinner, um, but what I was saying before is that he had a not so great day and we already had planned to decorate. So I was like, why don't I get a jump start, put away the Halloween decorations, get a candle going, get candy canes out, um, and our Christmas jammies on. I have his all laid out. I hung up some lights just with tape. I'll show you how crazy it looks. So this is what I did. Look at that tape job. So honestly, like, I found this like newer box of lights and I want to use them this Christmas season somewhere probably over here or maybe over the windows but just for like a wow factor when he got home from work I just thought it would be fun if he like walked in the door and it smelled like Christmas and I had Christmas music playing and we wouldn't even like necessarily have to decorate right away because it is so early um, but just get excited and just like leave work at work and embrace the fact that we can decorate for Christmas now, um, and that it's that time of year. He's home, he's home, he's home! It's a Christmas fairy tale in here. <laughs> Alexa, stop. It's beautiful in here. This is not even, we get to decorate all night. Thank yeah, you so much. You're welcome. Um, Got your jammies laid out. I, can't, I gotta get in those right away. Um, work was nuts. I, I even you. thought, because I had such a crazy week last week, I thought that when I got in today, I had meetings assigned and I had a bunch of things I needed to get done and things that I knew would pop up. I thought if I block out my schedule, like 30 minutes, hour, hour and a half here, 45 minutes here with all the things I needed to get done, then like alarms would pop up and be like, oh, I have to go do this now. Like whatever I got this far, I have to stop and move on to the next thing. Everything blew up. Oh gosh. So I, I think before I go into work tomorrow, I'm gonna like do that again, but tonight at some point. Okay. It's crazy, but I'm gone and it's Christmas time. Yes. All right, I'm in comfiness. I'm in Mickey comfy shirt. I'm in my Christmas pajamas. Sarah made a delicious looking. Did you just burn yourself really bad? No. Is this zucchini? Yeah, and pineapple and tomatoes and onions. This is like roasted veggies, and then that's like a sweet and sour soy sauce pad thai. Absolutely divine. Oh, I got a little bit of faux hog. We will have gone down. A black hole. Eve wants. Eve wants candy canes. We got candy canes. Solid. We got Gary V on. Haven't watched Gary V in forever. Just downloaded TikTok. Got a TikTok uh, account now. So I don't know what TikTok is, but I'm gonna figure it out and maybe we'll do TikTok. But the Brookout Project is on TikTok. The Grinch stole Christmas. What's that called? How the Grinch stole Christmas? <laughs> I just thought it was Grinch. Da, 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 da. The Grinch. So Sarah, we're finally, it's almost 8, but we're finally getting up to decorate. And we have to fix that because Sarah put blue tape to hang up those lights as a temporary thing. Mm. But we're going to put on Michael Myers' uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Michael Myers? <laughs> no. No. It's who you always make fun of because grandma doesn't like him. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And we're going to decorate. And I don't think there's cocoa or anything, but I'm going to have 17 more moldy 
stretchy candy canes, and it's gonna be <laughs> the great. Candy canes are like gum. The candy canes are gum, but I think I'm I think I'm gonna find a good one. Anybody go to the Disney store in 2013 during the holiday time? Because I still have my cast member ears. Share the magic. Share the story. What is it? Share the magic. Um, if you remember the vlog from last year, do you remember if this guy's name was Bartholomew? We got him last year. He's going out now that... What's the other guy's name? The name you used for everybody, Rupert. Yes, Rupert's going away and our Christmas... What's this guy's name? <laughs> Bartholomew. Bartholomew's coming out. Creepy Santa's back. He's so happy. Let us know down below if you remember Creepy Santa from last Fab year, five last year before that, or the year before that with the Fat Five Two Seven. Because Creepy Santa has been here since the Brookhards got married. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> Just a little Christmas vacation. So we full on decorated for Christmas. Yeah, something we decided at the end of last year's Christmas season that we would do this year. Yeah. Well, last year we had mixed Christmas and Thanksgiving. This year we decided to just go full-blown Christmas because of how chaotic November is. Especially this year because my sister is getting married. There's Eve. She's been so sad that we haven't been paying attention to her. The table is all cute. Peter got nice little cookies to finish that. We put our stockings on the wall, which we've never done before. And we put lights on the windows, which gives us definitely vibes from our very first apartment downtown. If you can find a picture, throw it up right there. Okay. Also, we hung stuff on the wall and we haven't done that in here yet. Yeah. So. so it's a little Merry Christmas. Our tree is gonna go here. Yes. So that's why we moved the trunk. Yeah, we got a countdown. Also, we're watching White Christmas. This is our little Santa corner. I got this, this is from my grandma's Norman Rockwell Santa collection, so I, got, I picked this one. It's Santa after Christmas. And then this is the article, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus, and a key so that Santa can get in our house, especially since we don't have a fireplace. Got some books and Noel with our fancy little Candles. Mixed Gotta nuts. Get candy. Oh yeah, that's for nuts. This is for mixed nuts. So should Seven. we put that on the table? Probably, but we can stay there for now. Okay. Bartholomew is gonna keep a close watch on our CDs and um, movie collection. It's a cute picture of my dad and Peter acting tough while chopping down Christmas trees. That was from technically our second Christmas together because we were dating. But I didn't go with. No, we weren't dating. No, we weren't dating. So that was from our first Christmas that we were yeah, dating. Yeah, we were like together, but we hadn't like officially become yeah. official at that point. So we have our little key compartment and then um, a touch of Thanksgiving. We just need more Thanksgiving decorations. We were just slacking on it. So there is some Thanksgiving in the kitchen. Then there's just a little corner. This is also Thanksgiving. I'm going to put some candy in there. This is the one piece of Ray Dunn <laughs> that we own. I got it from my best friend when I went to her wedding last year, but it was a secret. Um, so yeah, that's my last little... That's a spoiled cookie jar. Spoiled cookie jar. Spoiled our thing. Spoiled little teapot, Chicago Frango Mint. We got a little taste of spoiled picture. We got this on our honeymoon driving Route 66 in New Mexico, I think. Yeah. And then what another little piece of Thanksgiving, a little yeah. Thanksgiving turkey. Raking some leaves, because there are no leaves here. And then my apron. This is my apron. I wear this Christmas morning. You should. And then here is where we'll hang all of the Christmas cards we get. And then our little mat. And our puppy. I mean, I know it's early, but like I do feel Christmassy. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that, because we need it. And we love it. Yeah. We're going to embrace it so much. Yes. Wow, now this is an apartment that has begun to really look homey. We got multiple lights going on because you know we're, I think I'm going to replace that with an actual hanging light, but imagine a beautiful big Christmas tree, a tall one, we'll look for a tall skinnier one to fit in that corner, yeah. deck it out with some beautiful lights, and just, oh. We need to figure out what we're going to put here. He's tired. Put where? 
Yes. Like all year round. All year round. I'm like picturing like mom's like cool mirror thing, like something like that could be cool. Yeah. And then the plants up here. Yeah. Maybe we should do the plants maybe this weekend or maybe next weekend. Oh. All right. It is November 4th, Monday. Today's message is by Rumi. Be a lamb or a lifeboat or a ladder. Help somebody's soul heal. Walk out of your house like a shepherd. I dig it. All right, we're going to bed. Um, Sarah fell asleep. I wanted to give you guys a little update. So we wanted to do this to get our holiday season kicked off and started because we weren't able to enjoy Halloween as much as we wanted to because everything was busy. And we know we've got a continuing busy two months. So we took this night to relax, especially after the crazy weekend. Um, but we took the night to relax, to get a head start on the decorating and to enjoy the holiday season. And also because we have, Sarah had another blood work drawn up this morning at um, CRM, our infertility clinic, our fertility clinic, and got the test results back. And we need, I don't know if we explained this before, but Sarah's blood level needed to continuously drop after our procedure, after her procedure. And because it was the number that they were looking at was in a couple hundred thousand, and that's the number that would acknowledge that she is pregnant. That had to has to drop to I think below five, four or five. And so last Monday it was around between four and five hundred. And I think today, if I remember correctly, I think it was at forty four. So it's going in the right direction. But so she does have to go back next weekend or next Monday for another blood test, and hope fingers crossed that it is below five. Um, because if that doesn't get that low, we'll need to figure out what's going on and, and see there. But we, we feel pretty confident that it's going in the right direction. Um, but that is the next like big hurdle. We know that the timeline is projected to be somewhere around January where we could do more treatments or there's a procedure that she may have to get done in December. Um, but that all kicks off kind of with this test, blood test getting down to below five. So just a little update there. We love you guys, and we hope you enjoyed seeing some of our Christmas decorations. We still, we still have more that we're gonna slowly incorporate. We don't wanna bring all of our dishware out because it's gonna be kinda of used for special occasions or at certain times, and we're gonna decorate a little bit more. Hang, we still need to hang stuff in our living room, in our bedroom and everything, and get a bed frame still. So it's a work in progress, but Tis the season. It has begun. I need to get fresh candy cans for the house and my office. I keep telling everybody, get ready. I'm going to have 500 candy cans at my desk. But for now, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>